Well, I finally got in the Airblade Intrepid V2. Let's take a look. And I have most of the electronics. Let's see, I get to that in a second. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I got the 3D printed parts. Wow, there's the whole frame. Nice little strap. And hardware. Let me, let me take everything out. Okay, so here are all the parts that come in the kit. You have the two arms, the bottom plate, the top plate, uh, the camera mount, and then these parts here I believe are optional. And then this is a vibration uh, a clean and dirty system for the camera, which I'm not exactly sure how that works yet, but I'll figure that out once I build it. This is uh, These are three millimeters thick, and the rest of the hardware is all two millimeters. Here it is just quickly screwed together. It's a pretty simple interlocking mechanism for the front camera cage. And this top plate is adjustable. You can make it lower, but you'd have to get different uh, length standoffs. But there are little notches here so you can lock the top plate in different heights, so that's nice. And each, uh, each set of arms, two arms is one piece, as you can see. And meant to be a top-mounted battery. Let's weigh it. It's uh, 45, 44 grams. And also no uh, standoff hardware, so you'll have to supply that yourself, but it'll probably come with your stack and then no motor screws, but so that's not too uncommon. And now let me talk a little bit about what I'm gonna put inside of here. I have everything except the motors, which I'll mention towards the end. So, so here's what I'll be using. This is the HGLRC stack, the F428. This is the 4-in-1 ESC, 28 amp, uh, up to 4S, and here's the flight controller. And this is the, um, let's see, what is that? That's the TX20 V2. That's the other, also HDLRC. I'm going to try out the uh, FR Sky XSR receiver and of course the Cadex Turtle. And then for the motors, I had been waiting for the Superman motors to come in at Airblade and they finally came in. So I ordered four of those, the 3850KV. I think those will be great on 4S. So let's call that a part one. And in part two, I'll install the motors and go for a test flight. Please look forward to that. And thanks for watching.